Uh, Rick Santorum. I don't know where to put Rick. I, I think I should put him in a second tier, but, uh, you know, he is also a long shot candidate. He's a strong, devout Catholic. Uh, he has a decent showing in certain straw polls around the country, in certain counties. He's, he's, he's been pretty decent highing. But he just seems like, I, I think he's trying to be a serious candidate, but I just don't see him with all these other choices. <clears throat> How are you going to pick a senator who couldn't even win his Senate seat to be president of the United States? Um, he may be trying to run for vice president or just influence the debate or just get his name out there and, and do a book or what have you. He's, he's been working for a think tank. Um, and he's really, when he was a U.S. senator, he was horribly demonized, horribly demonized by the left. Uh, he was very strong on Islam and very strong on homosexual issues. And so those folks have just gone after him ruthlessly. And actually, when you Google his name, you get all kinds of filthy stuff that comes up in Google that comes up first, and it's very unfortunate. But he is a wonderful man, very principled, very sharp, uh, and a very attractive candidate. <clears throat> Let's look at something called positive intensity. <clears throat> Okay, positive intensity is really polling the voter and asking them, okay, do you know who this candidate is? So then do you recognize the name? All right? Now, I didn't say if you like him or not, I so said do you recognize the name? So you have to recognize the name first. Then after you recognize the name, they say, are you, do you have more favorable or unfavorable thoughts about this candidate? And it's a grading system, but they take the percentage of favorables versus the, uh, they take the percentage of favorables and they deduct the unfavorables from them and they come up with what's called the positive intensity score. And as you can see, um, Mike Huckabee has a very strong positive intensity score of 25. And again, this is to his ability to get on these shows, uh, Colbert shows and other, and really dialogue with liberals. That's a wonderful thing Huckabee can do, is he can really dialogue with a liberal and help him to understand why we believe what we believe and do it in an unoffensive, kind of attractive way. Bachman, Bachman also has a very high positive intensity score. Uh, she's maintaining that as the liberals try to beat her up, and they're trying to really get her. Uh, Romney has a 15, and so uh, as you can see, this is just an interesting <clears throat> uh, type of poll to, uh, to look at. Now, I'm going to give some honorable mention to what I would consider to be minor league players who are probably going to be very upset when they learn that they're in this list, but that's where I put them, so that's the way it goes. Herman Cain, love Herman Cain, love Herman Cain, he's best known for being chief executive officer of Godfather's Pizza, he's an advertiser, radio broadcaster, he's from Georgia, strong conservative Christian man. Um, just a real fine individual who's uh, not doing pretty good. Of people that know who he is, he has very high favorables and very low negatives. Uh, and so he's, uh, he's actually done fairly well in Iowa so far, but hasn't really registered much anywhere else. <clears throat> um, I was with him recently in West Palm Beach, and we had a, a nice chat. But I think that uh, I, I'm not sure that he's got game, although I like the fact that we have a, a black Republican running for president of the United States. I think that's a very admirable thing. And perhaps he could do something in the future. You know, this is, these things don't just happen overnight. You have to lay a foundation. You can come back. Who knows what could happen? Indiana Governor Rich, Mitch Daniels. Uh, I really don't like him at all. That's my own, sorry, sorry, sorry if you love Mitch Daniels, I'm sorry. But he, he's, he is the fellow that said we need to have a truce on social issues. Didn't I say I was going to be objective? I've blown it already. I've blown my objectivity. He said we need to have a truce on social issues. Let's put life and marriage and all those issues away because we need to deal with the economy. Let's not deal with those divisive things. And so, in my opinion, he's not going to get anywhere in the primary because of that and just because uh, no one really knows who he is. Utah Governor John Huntsman uh, was appointed by Barack Obama to be an ambassador to, I think it is a China or something, I can't remember what country he's an ambassador to, but uh, again, I just don't see, he's got an exploratory committee, but I just don't see him appealing to any of these segments we've talked about. You know, again, people run for president for a variety of reasons, get your name out there, network, you know, meet people, write a book, whatever it is, but I just don't see that dog hunting much. Same thing with uh, New York Governor George Pataki, you know, not, not necessarily even a Giuliani 9-11 kind of guy, so I don't know who he appeals to and how he would really get much game in the process.